buyers can still get tax credits. And also on the money, if there's something missing from your drive through burger tomorrow, don't be surprised. Nearly 80% of the January tomato crop in Florida was wiped out by the hard freeze. Peppers and other vegetables were hit too. And Steve Osinsami says now a nation of burger and pizza eaters are about to notice. Welcome to Flame Broiled Heaven. This evening at Burger King, you can still have it your way. You just can't have it with any tomatoes in some Burger King restaurants. Businesses across the food industry started running out of tomatoes earlier this week. The price of tomatoes right now is going to be going up because we're shipping product up from Mexico. Since the Florida freeze, vegetable prices for restaurants and their customers have doubled. And at the same time, the vegetables have gotten smaller. This is a tomato that survived the frost in Florida that's red, healthy, and still hasn't spoiled. Here's what we've had to turn to. Tomatoes from Mexico, Guatemala, and even as far away as the Netherlands that are green, bruised, and hard. And it's not just tomatoes. Wholesalers say it's the peppers you put in your salads. Wholesale prices are up 250%. And green beans. You may not even like them, but they're up from 15 to as high as $75 a bushel, a whole 500%. Consumers are starting to feel the pinch. In some places, a box of strawberries that was $2.99 is now a dollar more. So, how's everything, guys? Bonnie Bambinelli owns a small Italian restaurant north of Atlanta and says the produce shortage hurts her too. It was $19 a case, and now it's $39 a case. You go through a lot of tomatoes. When they come to the register, they say, Bonnie, my tomato was orange. I can't let that happen. They have to come to the register and say, I loved it. Her suppliers are telling her the shortages could last for at least another two months. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Atlanta. And also on the money over.